support the merit selection bill for appellate judges that was endorsed by Governor Rendell? If not, why not? Yvette, you want to take that first? I do support it. I'm on the bill. I do work for it. I think that um, we would get a better bench. It is something, however, that we have to be a little bit careful of because we really don't want to substitute a system now, which is not very good, is bad, where judicial candidates go around, and I've seen them do this, in one ward they're for the death penalty, in another ward they're not for the death penalty, depending on what they think the voters are going to say. But I don't want to substitute this for an elite group that picks people based on who are their friends. And that is the danger that we run into when we take away from the people the right to vote for a candidate. So I am proceeding very carefully with this. I would like to see us have a better bench. But Judge Ann Lazarus, who many of you probably know personally, for instance, is a person who opposes changing our system. She has said many times, it helps me as a judge to campaign because I touch the people. And I think as we move towards a system that is better, we have to keep these values in mind. And I hope we move there with those values in mind. And I will make sure that we move there with those values in mind. Great. Um, I absolutely support the merit selection of judges. I think the system we have in place, uh, it, it just, it, it doesn't, it, it's not, it's, it encourages b bad behavior because we are turning our judges into politicians. We're forcing them to make fundraising phone calls and generally the, que the question automatically becomes, and, and judges are actually not allowed to make fundraising phone calls. So it winds up being other people making fundraising phone calls for them, and frankly, it's really it's just a mess the system that we have, and I, I absolutely support it. I think it takes the politics out of the process, and I wholeheartedly would be in favor of it. Great. Do we have other questions from the floor? Again, just introduce yourself. Um, I'm Sam Little from the Logan Square Neighborhood Association. And uh, Babette, this question, I guess, is for you. You've long been a supporter of transit, and now we have a crisis in the state where there's really no perceivable way to raise transportation funds. Do you have an idea about what direction the state legislature should take? Thank you. Thank you. The crisis happened because we wanted to toll Interstate 80, and neither the Bush administration nor the Obama administration is going to let us do that. So now we have to think of a whole range of things that would be substitute for the many millions of dollars that we thought we would get from tolling Interstate 80, which is up in Erie in that area. One thing is to toll more roads in other areas and to make sure that we dedicate those tolls to improving those roads and then moving some funds, if we can, from those roads to mass transit. Oh, that is a, a certainly an approach. I would look again at private-public partnerships, but I'm very skeptical of them because they bring you a lot of money up front, perhaps, but then you lose control of, for instance, the turnpike, and in other countries and other states, these kinds of schemes have not worked out very well. I am somebody, by the way, who is not afraid to vote for taxes, state taxes, and I have done that many times, because Philadelphia taxes are what's high, and if we had more money in the state, we could help Philadelphia, and Philadelphia taxes could be reduced. I'm for a state income tax. I've been working, that would be graduated, progressive. 
I am for taxing the gas that comes out of the ground from Marcellus Shale. I'm on record for that. I am for a moratorium in, in um, drilling in the public forest. And I think there are many ways to come up with this money, but it can't be a way that hurts our environment and it can't be a way that hurts in existing transportation systems. Great, great. The question was around funding for transit. Right. Um, I think it should be noted that my opponent sits on the SEPTA board, and I was actually endorsed by the Transit Workers Union. In meeting and speaking with the members and the workers who are driving our buses and, and, uh, and, and controlling our trains and things like that, we have a very antiquated system here in Pennsylvania, especially here in southeastern Pennsylvania. The way it's set up right now is with Philadelphia, it's, it's, it's essentially like a wheel where Philadelphia is the middle of the wheel, we have all these spokes coming out from it, and we have no connecting, uh, connecting wheel on the outside. I believe that if you want to know what's important to someone, then you look at their checkbook. And in the case of our state government, uh, our, our checkbook is our state budget. We do have bu budget problems, we do have budget challenges right now, but we need to make transportation and infrastructure a priority when we are investing, when, 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 we, when it comes to budget season. Because once we actually do that, if we actually make Philadelphia more connected to the outside cities, and not just the surrounding suburbs, but some of our neighboring major cities, then what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna make Philadelphia a more attractive place for businesses to want to come and actually invest because they know that their workers are gonna be able to get easily in and out of the city. Um, as far as some of the tax issues that my opponent just talked about, I actually agree with a lot of those things. Uh, Marcellus Shale, there are environmental implications that we really need to be concerned about and they're already doing this drilling and this is a major issue that we need action on right now. And um, as far as the economic implications, if we start taxing the gas drillers, uh, this will lead to $100 million in revenue up front. And by 2014, it's gonna lead to $630 million in additional revenue coming into our state on an annual basis. 